this presentation, we will be providing an analysis of the use of iPads in a high school PDHP setting, which will include the advantages and disadvantages of iPads in the classroom and how the use of iPads link in with each section of the quality teaching model. We will then talk about the significance of the chosen artifact in students' school and home lives and how the use of iPads aid in the teaching of the PDHP syllabus. Within the quality teaching model, there are three dimensions that are there to assist teachers in providing a knowledgeable and useful education. Using this pedagogical framework in conjunction with use of iPads in a PDHP classroom, we are able to identify the advantages it would have. Dimension one is intellectual quality. Within this dimension, students are required to display higher order thinking, deep understanding and problematic knowledge. Students are able to complete the requirements using iPad in a PDHP setting by researching strand or topic specific articles which they will then analyse the content then present their findings to the class. Another way for students to be able to show an intellectual quality would be by watching a teacher specified YouTube clip then write a paragraph explaining how they perceive the message and how others may too. The clip could be about sense of self or support systems which relates to the syllabus. Dimension 2 is the quality learning environment. The advantages in this dimension include students being able to have self-regulation by accessing set tasks or assessments on sites such as Moodle. Student direction can be achieved by presenting students with an online survey about particular assessments or practical class activities they wish to partake in. Students are also able to finish a group task and have it peer marked using set criteria which would help them achieve explicit quality criteria. Finally, in the dimension of significance, Students can be sent home with tasks such as drawing a support network and then emailing it to their school email address to be produced to the class for marking the next day. This fulfills requirements for the area of connectedness. Knowledge integration in the PDHPE section is imp an important area. Teachers can have students watch a video clip and explain how it relates to two subject areas in the course. For example, in stage five, strand two and four, a specific technique can be shown and then the class can discuss the cultural significance of the sport. In saying this, there are also a few disadvantages of iPads in a PDHP classroom. Within intellectual quality, students may not hold focus and be distracted when first using iPads, which can lessen substantive communication. This can also have an effect on delivering the content of the lessons as students may prefer to take photos of themselves rather than make a video about safety practices in sport. In the quality learning environment, Students can have trouble staying on task throughout the lesson and completing the work required. When setting tasks, students may solely rely on the use of iPads instead of using an array of other resources. Lastly, in significance, students may be faced with problems such as bullying or incompetence when not being able to use the iPad with ease as they don't have the prior knowledge. When relating iPads to the PDHP syllabus, the obvious choices would be both the camera, which includes a video camera, and the app store. In PDHPE, Correctly and safely performing the right technique is an important factor. Using the camera and video camera, students are able to correct their own and other peers' techniques throughout the entirety of the course. Also, utilising the App Store, teachers and students are able to access applications that aid their learning and practical experiences by being able to properly execute a range of skills. They can also learn valuable life skills that can possibly save their own and others' lives iPads are becoming a vital tool in facilitating students in learning valuable skills both in school and in everyday life. Students being classified as the digital natives of today's world requires them to continually update their own knowledge and assist those who are seen as the digital immigrants. In a PDHP setting, it begins to teach students the importance of perfection of skill. Elite athletes constantly use view analysis as a tool to better themselves. Incorporating this into their learning will help in future aspects of physical participation. Features on the iPad such as Safari and YouTube are a great resource for teachers to apply into their lesson plans. Safari enables students to search for answers to class discussions or assessment que questions quickly and effectively, such as the healthy food pyramid or their recommended daily intake. YouTube allows the students to view various clips that can benefit their learning. They can watch videos that teach them how to properly perform CPR, how to hold a cricket bat properly, or even watch a motivational speaker to boost their or other self-esteem. Overall, from making this presentation, we believe that iPads in the classroom will have a positive influence on students, students in the classroom.